Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at if then else and if else control flow in Visual Basic .NET. So inside our main subroutine, let's create one integer and use dim num as integer then num equals to 10 and then we create one condition if num is greater than let's say 5 then we are going to simply use console dot right line num is greater okay and outside this and if I'm going to use console dot read to pause the output let's run this and check out whether our if then condition is true okay and as you can see it outputs number is greater now what if I have this num as 10 and with condition as 15 here you will find that number is not greater than 15 and we are not taking care of condition when this number is less than 15 so we use else and then we simply call for console dot right line or simply use right if you want and here num is smaller okay so what we did here is we go through control flow where we compared the number with 15 if it's greater then it will pass the message as greater if it's smaller then in else condition it will tell you that number is smaller as we already declared the number to be 10 which is smaller than 10 15 here okay so it will output the value from num is smaller in else condition so let's run this so you get the idea how this if else flow works okay so if i use this num to be 10 and keep the value to be lesser than 15 then it will output num is smaller if i use let's say 17 sorry i have to close this okay now if i change this to 17 and run the program again then it will output num is greater as you can see num is greater because it is greater than 50 so you get the idea that when you are using if else condition then we make use of if keyword and after that we put condition and use then keyword after that follows our console dot right line method you can do additional other calculation or any other statement here and if our if then condition turns out to be false we have to be ready for another condition then we use else and then write the necessary logic to handle that condition and we finally end our if with and if okay so you get the idea of how to use if then for simple if condition control flow and if then else for more complex control flow.